What's up guys, my name is Bad Marmot, and this is The Infected. It's a pretty fun little survival uh, base building game that answers the age-old question, could you survive in a rugged world filled with vampires, garwolves, and diggers? Well, today we'll be finding out. Let's see, what are these things anyway? I guess vampire, yeah, vampire. Makes sense. Garwolves are with the werewolves. Diggers are goblins. And they're all infected humanoids. Oh, yeah. It all makes sense. All right, well, we're going to leave the AI as it is. And over here, though, let's get into these settings. Let's enable some auto saving. Go into Fahrenheit. You can change the month length here. And uh, I think it just makes it easier the longer you go because it just makes it so you have fewer winters. Like if you went with 300, you would probably only have one or two winters in a full playthrough. So we're going to go with 60. Should make it a little bit more challenging. And uh, yeah, the winters are definitely challenging in this game. So other than that, I think everything else is good to go. Let's give ourselves a name here. Let's go with Bad Marmot. Let's go with Bad Marmot's Lake, because we're going to post up next to a lake, I think. Some fresh water. It's definitely what we're going to need to survive. Got to have some water. And did our game already freeze? Game is frozen. Oh, nope. There it goes. Ah, yes. The beautiful sounds of nature. All right, here we go. Buy some huge lighthouse. And we got a broken down ATV. Let's see, F, tutorial, task list, ATV, recovery and repair. So we got to fix this, search for the supplies. Okay, what do we need? It says down here in the bottom left, we need iron ingots, screws, tires, and a gas can. All right, and then on the bottom right, looks like we got, let's see, what is all this? We got our health, stamina, we got thirst, so I guess that's our water. And then we got hunger, we got four different things for hunger, which is pretty, that's, that's, that's some real realistic survival here we got. So we got proteins, carbohydrates, fats, and vitamins. Okay, that's pretty dope, and I guess this is like the main hunger bar. All right, and then right here we got energy, okay, and sun resistance. Wow, that's a lot of stuff to manage there. Okay, okay, I dig it. That's some that's some realistic survival right there. Okay, we got a tire right here. Let's go. Making progress already. What do we got? Corn, seeds, delicious. I love hard, uncooked corn seeds. Let's go in here, see what we got. All right, gas can, baby, let's go. We got another one right here. We all fueled up, gassed up. Let's go upstairs, what do we got up here? Okay, there's the iron ingots. We got some clay soil, don't need that, I don't think. That was not on the list. An empty can, love it. Some more ingots. Okay, okay. Oh, God. Almost fell down those stairs head first. All right. Got another tire, though. Let's take this back to the hay TV. All right. Let me screws and two more tires. Okay. What we got? Let's take out the trash. What we got? Ooh, coal can oil can okay okay it's a nice little trash dump right there we got screws and we got the last two tires all right can we get both of them no okay Oop, that's the wrong button nice one more tire one more tire 
Okay, let's not do that. <laughs> All right. It's time to celebrate. We got this one more tire, baby. Stick it in there. Look at that beautiful ATV. It's got a skull on it. Badass. Hell yeah. Let's see what she sounds like. Oh, yeah. Nice. All right. We ready to go. Hell yeah. Got a little inventory here. Let's put this stuff away. So let's see what else we got in our inventory. We got medicated bandages, bandages, a lighter. Nice little zippo there. That's good. We got a flask with clean water in it. That's nice. And the game gives us five beef stews to start off. Little rations. Okay. Those give us health as well. All right. Nice, nice, nice. We got our weapons holster here on our backpack. Nothing on that. So let's see. We should probably go ahead and make some stuff. Wow, it's very bright. Let's go in the shade. Get some... Yeah, I think we're messing up our sun resistance anyway. Stay in the shade. Nice cool tree. All right, let's see. Let's go to our itemtopia. Item... Itempedia. Itempedia. We need some... We need some defense. We need some protection. Okay, stone axe. Probably gonna need that first. Stone pickaxe. A spear would be nice as well. Alright, so we needed some rocks, some sticks. Alright, let's get to work. Let's get some let's get some stuff going. There's a stone. Ooh, we got a mailbox. Let's check the mail. Alright, nice bone delivery. Bones and feathers. Love it. Love to see it. Here's another one of those. Definitely need some sticks and some rocks. Nice. Nice. Alright. We should be able to craft us an axe now. There you go. Stone axe. Hell yeah. And there it is. Right in our backpack. Our knapsack. Pull it out. Chop down our first tree. Oh, they stack up really nicely there. All right. So we can harvest that. Gives us a bunch of sticks. And then when you cut down a tree, you get bark chips and plant fibers. So that's dope. Let's cut down another one. All right. Let's get everything else we need. I think we need... Two more stone blades. And then we're going to Itemtopia. Item I'm just gonna call it Itemtopia. Stone spear, hell yeah. Let's get the pickaxe. Hell yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. Alright. So we did a little crafting. And now we've got we're pretty set. We're pretty set up to adventure now. We've got stone spear, stone axe. And a stone pickaxe. Let's go. We're ready to take on this world. Look, frogs ain't got nothing on us. Booyah! Booyah, little froggo. That hop, hippity hoppity crap out of here. All right, let's take all this. I don't think we need plant fibers and bark chips right now. We can get those anytime we chop down a tree. All right. And let's hightail it because our resource is already going down. We're getting thirsty and hungry already. Oh my god. Can we kill this bird? Come here, chicken! Where'd it go? What? You can stab a chicken with a spear and it doesn't go down? Holy crap. This chicken is fast. Come here, chicken! Come here, chicken! Haha. -ha. We shall not be defeated. Going down, chicken. Man, our stone spear just almost got destroyed. It's like a quarter of the way down just from that one chicken. We might go ahead and make another spear. All right. There we go. We made a backup spear. 
just because these things are not lasting very long. This one's already on 15, du 15 durability loss just from killing a chicken. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go adventuring. Oh, yeah. Driving down the open road. Let's actually see. Okay, we could pull up our map while we're driving. It's pretty dope. Driving blind, baby. All right. So let's see. Huge map. I mean, if that's this much far, we've kind of been driving for a little bit. All right. Yeah, big map. Let's see. We definitely want to post up next to a lake. This looks like the nearest one that's close by that looks, like, pretty big. Kind of open. There's a lot of green space over here. So maybe it's, like, flatter. Nice for building. And then I'm pretty sure these are these dead ends right here. You can zoom in a little bit. All these dead ends right here, these are all villages. I'm pretty sure that we can loot. So let's go... I think let's go ahead and go check out a village. Let's go see what it's all about. We ain't scared. We ain't scared. Is that another chicken? Dude. I heard you, chicken. I see you, chicken. Come here, boy! Come here! Come here! Man, you give them, like, one hit and they, like, switch directions on you. Well, juke. Try to juke me out, little chicken. Not to be defeated. Let's go. None of the chicken bites the dust. All right, we got this caro. Let's check out the caro. That's kind of lame. Let's go like this. We do not want bark chips. Nice. All right. Two. We got. How much chicken meat do we have? We got four chicken meats and a frog meat, and no way to cook those. All right, this is what this is what I really want right here. On combres, love them. These are the best. Let's see. Yeah, cucumbers are good. I think they give you some thirst back. Yeah, which is what we're really going to be struggling with here in the beginning. So let's go ahead and eat one of those. Yeah, we'll save the other one for now. Definitely got to look out for some food. Look out for some grub. Oh, this is beautiful right here. This is what you want to see. Watermelon. Watermelons. Yeah, let's give you 20 thirst back. Let's go ahead and scrump down one of those. Oh, yeah. That's what we need. That's what we need. All right, we got another car. A couple cars here coming up. Let's do some scavenging. Make sure we get our spear out so we don't get ambushed. We got glass and biofuel. Okay. Okay. Love to see it. Oh, all kinds of stuff. Iron ore, dry bricks. Hell yeah. All right. Definitely want to keep eye out for food, though. And uh, here's a quick little tip on food. Is you want to go into your settings. And our video. And this foliage density. You can kind of see on the sides of my menu here. Man, epic and high just makes it so hard to see any of the foods. Especially the ones that are like on the ground. Like watermelons and the other melons. Uh, potatoes and onions. You can go with like none. Which is low as like none. Except for like these stick bushes. But that just kind of makes the world look weird. Medium. It's a little happy medium right there. So we're going to go with medium. Works for me. It works for me. All right. So let's keep on trekking. Keep our eye out for some food. We're going to go scavenge some villages. Alright, we got another car here to raid, and I see some more concombres up ahead. Hell yeah. Oh, we got an egg and bone shards. Three bone shards. I think that's enough to make a bone spear. 
let's check it out. Let's check it out real quick. Let's go into the itempedia. One bone shard. Dude, we have enough for multiple bone spears right now. Three sticks, five plant fibers. Let's cut down some more trees. Let's go. Look at that. Bone spear, baby. Oh, wait. We can't make it, though, can we? So let's drop this one. It's at 75. And, yeah. We'll go with one bone spear for now. We can make a couple more if we need them, but... We should probably just go ahead and get rid of this, uh, this stone spear. Dude, that is so awesome, though. So happy about that bone spear. Let's go ahead and eat something, though. Water is getting low, so let's eat this watermelon. And a concombre. And you know what? We need some protein. Let's eat that, too. All right. Let's go. More concombres. And I think I see a watermelon up there. Oh, there's two watermelons. Dude. Bruh. Let's go. Look at all this delicious food. Hell yeah, dude. got so much food we're gonna pass up this little stupid pumpkin here don't want it don't need it we got a backpack full of watermelon slices delicious watermelon slices with a side of concombres love it love to see it let's see if we can run over an animal Nope. <laughs> Definitely cannot. Is that a bear? Oh, no, it's a pig. Definitely don't want to see no bears. Man, that'd be cool, though, if you could run over animals. Just some easy, like, roadkill. All right, we should be coming up here soon. To the crossroads to our first village. Go see if we can check in for a night at the Villaggio up here. It'd be nice. See if we can make some new friends. Hello, friends. Oh, man. Our friends just fell out of the sky. Okay. That's great. Should we go in with the bone spear? Let's go ahead and get rid of this stone spear. I think it'll be fine. Right? What is that? Oh, wait, what? Oh, we got a shield. Oh. Oh, these guys I know to be very... Did he just bow? Oh, he was like, hello, sir. Hello, are you prepared to fight me? Yeah, he's going to throw some shit at me. We'll just block that with the spear. Oh, he got us that time. Dang, he got us twice. I did not want to go down. Maybe we should have changed to the bone spear. We're at 88 health. Okay, he got a few licks in. Those guys are the hardest, though. Those guys are not very fun. These guys are a little bit easier. The werewolves. Because they come in and they, like, lunch. And you can just kind of back up. Hit them and back up. Yeah. Those guys, those guys, a little bit easier. A little bit easier for those guys. <laughs> it's definitely the it's definitely the the dudes that bow before they fight you. Yeah, that's 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 intimidating. That's like that's pretty intimidating. Dude's like, oh hello good sir. I'm about to smack you in your face. These guys are probably the easiest. They even run away after you hit them too much. You just poke them in the back. And there's usually like four, sometimes five enemies per village. So I'd rather go ahead and clear those out. Did I hear somebody behind me? No. Okay. I'd rather go ahead and clear out all the enemies, but I don't see any more. Huh. Maybe that's it. 
All right, let's start pillaging. Ooh, we're going to use that sun paste. Put some of that delicious potato paste all over our skin. Ooh, and now we have some tech. This is what you want right here. This gives you the, this gives you like the, the technology to like really scale up, level up your bases. Fridge blueprint is really not the best. Fridges, you're not really going to be making fridges until later. But hey, we'll take it. We'll take it. All right. Ruffling through everything. You notice if there was another tech in here. We really want, like, uh... Like, advanced... The advanced workbench is, like, the number one one that I think I want. That'd be great to go ahead and get that one, like, first or second. Scoot in a little closer here. Okay. We're gonna need to eat something. Here, let's eat that. Let's eat that. 18 minutes left on this stuff, so we're probably not gonna get... Yeah, I think we're good on... Let's throw away this raw meat. I don't think we'll get back to base in time to cook all that raw meat. All right, let's go. Another blueprint, baby. That's what we want. We want another blueprint. Okay, no blueprint in there. Two potatoes in the hatchback of your truck. That's nice. That's nice. Weeds have grown over the car, but it's still got fresh potatoes. Wow, another guy just dropped out of the sky here. Right next to my ATV. That would have been an ambush. Luckily, it's just one of these guys. And he just stood there and took it. <laughs> oh, he just gave us some iron? That's dope. Iron is the best. Man, it looks like it's getting dark already. That is not good. What time is it? Oh, 6 p.m.? Man, what is this? Daylight savings? Why is it so dark outside? Alright, let's hurry up and pillage all of this stuff. Bacon. What is that? Potato sprout. Really want onion sprouts. Because onion sprouts are so hard to find in the wild. It's best to get one from a villaggio. Some kern. I love kern. Delicious corn. Everybody loves it. Ooh, watermelon. We will eat that. Let's check upstairs. More feathers. We'll take that. Take the bone shards and your potatoes. Definitely want this stuff. Oh, man. Running out of room. You don't really need too much wire, especially early on. Ooh, yeah. Let's put some more of that potato paste all over our skin. Alright, we did not see another tech page. And I think I've searched all the buildings. So that is unfortunate. Yeah, we only got the one tech page. Alright, well it is raining and it is getting dark. But let's go baby, we took down our first village. 88 health, only took 12 damage, and we have multiple health packs, but you know what? It is getting dark. It is getting rainy. 
It is 7 p.m. now, and daylight savings, apparently, because it is dark as hell out in here. And so we're going to go, we're going to find a good spot to post up. We're going to go check out this lake over here. It's right up ahead, as you can see on the map. Uh, it would be nice if it's, if it's a good spot. It's right near a village, so we can go and pillage that village. Let's see. Take a le Take a right right here. Dodge and weave all these trees. Ooh, we hear a pig nearby already. Oh my goodness. I mean, it's rainy and misty, but dude, this spot is beautiful. Terrifying lightning, but oh my god, dude. Look at this. Is that an island? Oh. oh my god. Oh, this just crashed our ATV. Whoa, I think this is an island. That's pretty sick. I mean, it's kind of small, and islands don't really, like, provide you any defense or anything in this game because, like, everything can just walk right across the water, including the enemies. So, but it's got like a rock on the back side too here. So you would only have to like encircle this front end. Yeah, but then you really don't have like, you don't really have the view of the mountain. You kind of, you'd have like this view, which is eh, meh. Let's see, let's see, where do we want to build? I think. You know what? We need to get started, too, because uh, it's just getting later and later. 740. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's build on this shore right here. Yeah, because, look, then we'll have access to the road. The road's right up there. So we can kind of, like, build in this whole little area right here. There's, like, a rock on this side, so it's kind of defensive. goes all the way to the water. Which, again, the water is not a defensive barrier. Yeah, I like this. I think this is dope. Let's, let's, let's build right here. This is dope. This is dope. And the view. Oh, man, the view is so good. Beautiful. Look at the view with our ATV. That's a screenshot right there. Nice. All right, let's get to work. Let's pull out our axe. And we're going to chop all this stuff down. Get it done. Choppy, choppy. All right, this looks like a nice little clearing right here. So, in order to start building in this game, you have to first set down a land claim pole. All right, so let's do that. Let's set this down. Right here, facing the road, so everybody knows. Hey, this is us right here. There we go. No place like home. Getting it done. Now, I do know there's a there's a thing with these land claim poles, okay? What you want to do first is go in here, put on your, your toggle, your light, and your noise value. This is what's going to bring in enemies, okay? The hordes are going to come when these bars max out. So, we want to be prepared by the time that happens. The first time that happens. The other thing with the land claim pole, which, by the way, let's get this situated. Because we found our lake, baby. We found our lake. There it is. Bad Marmot's Lake. Do not... Trespass? I don't know how to spell trespass. Stu, do not enter. There you go. There you go. Bad Marmot's leg. Do not enter. Whoa. Ooh, that goat kind of scared me. All right, but as I was saying, the other thing with these land claim poles is that I think when you spawn, or when you put down a land claim pole, I'm pretty sure it spawns like three groups of enemies around your base so like when you go back out to venture you might run into them i find like 
They're sometimes on the road. But yeah, we don't see them yet. Maybe it's like a few days later that they spawn in. I'm not sure, but you kind of have to watch out. You could like bump into them if you wander too far away from your camp. But. Oh, task complete. Gather. Oh yeah, because once you put down your land claim pole, it gives you all these new things. You know what? Let's turn the tutorial off. Disable. We don't need no tutorial. Too good for that. And it's going to make those dingy sounds every time. All right. Now that we got our land claim pulled down, let's make a little... Just like a, like a shack to work out of. Okay. So we need a shelter. Let's put that... Like right in front of this. That is not right. But we can move it later. So wood logs. We already have chopped some of those down over here. Okay, one more. There we go. All right. So let's move that real quick. So we want this lined up. Oh yeah, you gotta move it and then move it again. All right, right there should be good. Beautiful. All right, next thing we're going to need is a fire. Let's go ahead and make a fire. So we have some light to get through this night. That way we can make water and everything like that. So we need 10 small stones and a lot of firewood. So to get firewood, you can harvest these. So we'll grab firewood, place that in there. Okay, and then 10 small stones, which we already have a pickaxe, so we can go right here. All right, there we go, build a campfire. Let's go ahead and crack that guy on. Are you gonna need some of these sticks to go in there? All right. Sticks, sticks. Light that thing up. Beautiful. And we threw away our raw meat. That's okay. Here, let's cook a potato. Just to celebrate. We made it, baby. We made it. We've got a land claim. We've got shelter. We've got a fire. we got a goat that won't stop but making noise. we got pet goats out here. We've got pet goats, baby. That's on another level. But hey, look, this is only the first step. We're going to go much harder than that. Which, by the way, we need to go ahead and start doing right now. We need these things right here. A lot of saw benches. We want at least three. I like having three saw benches, right? Because you can carry three logs at a time. So it's just efficient to kind of have it that way. For right now, let's just put them in this clearing. We want to have like a little work area where we have... Saw benches on one side. Three of those guys. Roughly lined up. Again, we can move them later. And then, on this side, we want some storage with log stands. So we can, like, have log stands, and then, boom, throw those logs right into the saw benches. There we go. Just like that. Beautiful. 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 So let's get to work. And then you know what we also need is a few more storage. Let's get uh, at least one stick stand. Let's do these over here. You're going to want a stick stand. And then let's also get storage for the firewood. 
And then over here, you're going to need plank storage as well. So let's do the plank storage down on this side. Plank storage. Let's go. Right here. Boom. Boom. Let's go ahead and put four of these up. And that's a lot of stuff to build. You know what? We need to build one more thing, too. For water, just so we have easy access to water, is a water basin. So when it rains, this water basin will fill up, and we can just, boom, put it right into our fire pit, fire pit right here. All right, let's go. So we, gotta, we need a lot of wood to fill up all these these ghosts, uh, these ghost blueprints here. So let's get to work. Let's get it done. A lot of work, a lot of work. Let's get it done, though. But look, boom, already making planks. There we go. Three saw benches already done and dusted. We got some sticks right here. Let's go on this side. You know what? One more thing that we do need is a bed. Gotta have a bed. The only thing about a bed is you can't place them down without a foundation. So, I think what we do is... No, you know what? Let's just work through the night. Alright, boys and girls. Here we go. So this is night one. This is what we've done. So it's, it's actually 544 and I've worked all through the night on night one in the game. And this is what we have. And uh, by the way, a little tip uh, why you don't have light and uh, your first night, you can use... Oh my god, there is a pig trying to drive my ATV. Hey, Mr. Pig, can you scoot off? I'm doing a thing here. Thank you. Uh, you can use your ATV's lights uh, right here. Just in your first night, it'll give you a little bit, a little bit more, uh, you know, a little bit more visibility for you. But yeah, this is what we got. We've got a nice little... First little spit up shelter right here, just threw it up and uh, made kind of the essentials. We got a fire pit here, we've got firewood holder, stick holder, we've got some water. Still waiting for it to rain, but uh, yeah, we've got our three saw benches here going with a lot of plank holders already made. Uh, working on filling those out. Uh, here you can see we've got our logs. Uh, log holders on this side so we can come down once we get our cart here built which I only found eight nails total so far in that last village kind of unfortunate we'll have to make an anvil and a whole bunch of other stuff before we can get those nails unless we go pillage some tomorrow from another village which we may end up doing because there's another village nearby uh, but yeah we want this as quick as possible and then we're throwing up this little jack here as well as you can see we need to finish our bed There we go, and let's go ahead and sleep so we can get our energy refilled here. All right, that's good. We don't want to sleep past lunchtime. That would just be real lazy. And here, now we can see a little bit better what we've got. And I've opened up kind of a gap towards our beautiful view. Just look at that with the eagle soaring by. So majestic, so beautiful. I love survival games like this where you can just kind of find an amazing spot and just like post up and just build a home, man. Just build a little place for you to live. But yeah, I think this is going to do it for now. We've got an awesome little start here. Awesome location to build. And we've got some really, really awesome designs. I'm, I'm excited to get started on building over here next to the lake. But we've got to clear out a lot of trees, a lot of stones just to get that started. And yeah, but for now, I think that'll do it. We'll wrap this up here for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode and the start to this really amazing survival game. And oh yeah, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. Uh, this is my first video on this channel, so it'd be great to have your support. And we'll see you in the next one. Later.